represents our not school today. Guess what? My ear feels better, and we have Angry Birds again. Right, Mom? Um, we do. Yep, we do. Woo! Hey! <laughs> Come along. It's the two of us with the dogs, right, Chris? I come to the island of Sodor, the fields were changing to stubble to barren earth. And the tractors hard at work as Thomas puffed down his branch Thomas the Tinker to puff down his branch ring. Later Thomas saw the tractor close by. Hello, said the tractor, I'm Terrence. I'm plowing. I'm Thomas. I'm pulling the train. What ugly wheels you got! They're not ugly, they're caterpillars, said Terrence. I don't, w don't want to go anywhere, said Thomas. I like my snow. I don't want to go anywhere, said Thomas Huffley. Well, make sure you can be safe, laughed Terrence. Thomas ignored Terrence. Is yes, winter came to, winter came with brown earth. Winter came to brown earth. I don't like the snow, said Thomas the Striper. It might stop us. The heavy fall's coming. Well, asked Thomas happily. Well, huh, said Thomas. Soft stuff. Never, nothing to it. The winter was comfy and and comfy by everything. You need to not snow plow for the next journey, Thomas said the driver. Huh, said Thomas. I don't need my snow plow. You just wait and see, replied the driver. So the snow plow made Thomas very cross indeed. He shook it and he banged it and when they got back it was so damaged that the driver had to take it off. You are a very naughty engine. You are a very naughty engine, he said to Thomas. Next day, Thomas's driver finally could not make him wear a snow plow. The workman worked hard, but it didn't get better. Thomas was pleased. I shan't have to wear it. I shan't have to wear it, he puffed to any driver. But they were rather worried. I hope it's all right. I hope it's all right. They could complain. <sighs> the fireman was worried too. It's not bad here, said said the fireman. By it should to be deep in the in some valleys. Huh? Said Thomas. I did not need that stupid old scene yesterday, and I shan't today. Snow can't stop me. He rushed into a tunnel, thinking how clever he was. But there was trouble up ahead. Cinders and ashes, called Thomas. I'm stuck. And he was. Back, Thomas, back, said the driver. But Thomas couldn't move. He tried to move, but he couldn't. Oh, my dear, my coffin was so splendid. I should have to stay here and tell him. Done. And Thomas began to cry. At last, who came to rescue Thomas? Rescue Thomas? And a and who yeah. took Thomas to pass the doors? And do you think he came along? He came along. But Terrence, no worries him. Thomas pulled Thomas away, so he could go away. I think you need to learn the lesson about snowplows, Thomas. He asked. Answered. I'll try," said Thomas. 